Hello guys and welcome to a new Stoda Vision 2 video today by me Vulcan. Today I wanted to introduce you guys to a new series that's going to be coming to the channel, an Axis vs Allies homemade multiplayer campaign. Primus Pilus and a few other people have been setting this up on the down low, but it's got to a stage now where we've been playing it for a couple weeks and it's going strong. The concept is a tug of war between the Axis and Allies. They each take a turn to make an action in the strategic map. On each turn, the side in control can choose whether to attack towards the enemy's main base or they can choose to unlock a division to help them out. The starting divisions for this particular campaign are the 25th Panzer Grenadier for the Axis side and the 44th Guards for the Soviet side. It's a 4v4 format and all players will be set up with a battle group from the same division. This may vary later on when divisions are unlocked. The intention also with this campaign is to set up a command structure. So each team out of the four players has one commander and that one commander plays a completely different deck to those playing on the front line. These are set up with more aircraft, more artillery and more leaders that can support the other players in certain areas of the map. The commander is also in charge of communication and strategy for the overall game. Either way, today we're going to be starting on the front line. It's going to be a closer combat game between the 44th and the 25th, and we're meeting on the battlefield Mogilev. The first battle is all to play for, since the winner of the closer combat battle in the centre will gain the initiative and be the first team to make their turn. I'm in charge of the Axis side as the commander, and today I have for you the live gameplay of myself commanding my forces against the Soviets. My fellow leaders today are Copenhagen, Lycus, and Pinkermanner. On the Soviet side we have Tiger, Jipperman, Robot Penguin, and Spindle. From here on I'm going to leave you guys with the live gameplay of this first matchup between the Axis 25th Panzer Grenadier and the 44th Guards Rifles. Apologies if the audio quality is a little lacking, but I'll try fix that up within the next few recordings. So the contested areas on this map are generally the left and right sides. So Copenhagen, if you, if you want to like set up towards the mid of the start, like but maybe put like a Panzer books on like each road, like I said, or the ones that come across from the center at least, and maybe the one, the left side one. Cool. Um. So Lycus and Pink. It's like left and right, um, so whatever you prefer, really. Um, I guess for ease, I'll just put pink on the right, and then Lycus on the left. Um, that's far left, so... I'll put Lycus just here. And pink. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, Copenhagen will kind of like cover the mid with me at the start. You two guys kind of concentrate on um, those sort of town engagements. Uh, make sure that you, on uh, pink, try and take the right hand flag, um, and basically make sure you control these two flags that start on our side of things. So you you're not going to want to set up on this side of the river. You want to try and get over that bridge ASAP from the start. Right. Um, on the right. Um, they will probably try and do the same, so they'll probably try and cross the bridge. Um, but the way you want to defend that is just by getting into those trees. Uh, if you like us, it's probably just going to be a bit more straightforward. It's going to be just a head-on. I'm probably just going to start with a bit of artillery. We're going to have the advantage in the open early on, so I think... Looking at the map, actually, we might want to push the left side early, but we'll wait and see where they where they end up before we like commit the rest of our forces. I'll deploy my artillery left. Begin with. So I think what we're going to end up doing, in Copenhagen, is um, pushing like this sort of area, just like across the open initially, and then try and get into the town from the high ground. Okay. So from the left, 
to that area. Yeah, so we'll come up from the, the road where Lycus is putting us like IG and stuff, and then um, push up across the open, take the ground, and then move to the right hand side. Now we may okay. have to be a little bit concerned about like 45 mil AT guns, but I'll try and keep on top of like RTing stuff. Should I bring out RT from the stop? Uh, I should have you covered from RT. Uh, like I said, just try and hold on to some points. I've got five city at the moment, so... Okay. Um, what else could you put down? Anti-tank, um, anti-air... Um... Hmm. Maybe put a few infantry squads on the with your right hand Panzerboxer, and then that way you can kind of fire across the open towards their flag and kind of support pink a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to bring in some AA on the left hand side, since that's probably where we're going to attack. Don't want those rocket planes messing up our day. So yeah, I would say just save the rest of your points, or maybe put some, like a Stug or two on the left hand side, just so they're like at the front line. Alright, for a start. Just try not to like reveal them, maybe put them behind the, the light cover, like here. That's gonna pop up. There we go. Just like drive them into the light cover, but don't reveal them. Because I don't want them to like preemptively react, right, to what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. Everybody ready? Yeah, I do believe so. Alright. Just be prepared for it being fast and furious. And also, um, just watch out for AT sightlines from the start. Alright, uh, one, one I would say is. I don't know if they'll do it, but ink on the right hand side uh, from that light cover you can put an AT gun to cover that bend in the road so just keep an eye out like the uh, the enemy could put like a 45 mil there might pop a few transports yeah 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 okay I actually have T thirty four eighty fives in phase A. I didn't actually realise that. Kind of awkward. Gonna have some arty coming down on your side, like us. I'm just gonna be focusing on those buildings. Well, actually, I'm probably gonna focus on where those uh, are got unloaded. Managed to capture the point in the center, which is nice with the with the ersatz there. Um, if you can, Copenhagen in the center, try and move that and the books into like the back garden. A bit closer to the flag it might be a good idea. Right. I'm gonna bring in a couple pack 40s there because we can probably defend that from range. Actually I'll bring in an IG as well so that we can hit the infantry. I'll start bringing some Stokes and three guns on the Okay, yeah. Start massing on the left. Good job on that flag on the right hand side, Pink.
Okay, uh, how's it going on the left, Lycus? Okay, oh, we can take out that SG-152, that'd be fantastic. Oh, my artillery is taking a little bit of counter-battery. Quick question, how long has the match been going? Just, um, four minutes. Hopefully you put spectate on. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, I'm on spectator. It's just, uh, how, how much time has elapsed, or like how much time in phase A has gone on? Uh, three and a half minutes. Interesting, because I'm at like 1.30 or something. Yeah, you're two minutes behind. Yep. Yeah, you should be two minutes behind. I'm going to bring in some AA on the right. Yeah, I've got a fighter and I've got um, some recon, but there is AA on the right hand side, so be wary of that. I'm just going to RT those buildings ahead of you, Lycus. Uh, you might want to move back your 231 on the right hand side. of your troops like us. Not too late. G33, getting absolutely smashed. Alright, nice job, Pink. Um, just try and secure that objective on the right hand side with a couple of Panzer guns. If you can get a, a couple more um, Stugs up there, you can probably rip through the, those SU 76 PTs. Alright, might be time to push forward those Stugs and engage the T-34. Yeah, this will be the time to counterattack big time. We can take care of that T-34 on the left. Nice, it's gone. All right. Ooh, gonna want to make sure you focus on the T-34 85s. Yeah. Get load of kill. I'm gonna start arting the one at the back. And hitting it with strafing runs. Do you have much penetration on those? Decently. Go. Nice. Really nice. He's probably not going to have many more than that, so we can push off this. I think he'll have four if he's got a card in phase A. I'm going to bring in some Urzats just to push through and give you some cover. Bring up an IG there. Well. Great. Should be able to shoot down both of these. Yeah, we got them nice. 
job. I'm coming back round onto him. I'm oh, yeah, probably getting it forced back. Here comes the Azat. <laughs> We're doing well, doing well. Nice one, Pink, getting across there as well. Right, we've got one and a half minutes until they reach phase B, and then the Maverick's going to come in with lots more T 34s. <laughs> so, we need to get a bit of a move on. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do, I'll start bringing up some pack 40s just so we have a bit more to work with. Uh, we're going to have to take care of these 45 mils. Unfortunately, I don't have any more ammunition for my artillery. Do you guys have supply trucks in A? Yeah. Uh, Could I get one on the left, like here? I'll get one. On the way. Alright, you're gonna wanna kill that 45 mil on the left, like I said. Never mind, it looks like the Stug might have it. There we go. Very nice. We're getting close to this objective, it's good. Uh, there's another T3485 coming up the road, but my pack 40s are nearly here. I'm gonna deploy one like here and probably one here. I'm going to reinforce a little bit with Syria. I'm gonna, in phase B, bring in a lot more artillery. I'm gonna get a couple 100 mils that can counter battery. Great. Doing really well, guys. They're gonna start focusing more on the left hand side now. So you might have a, even more freedom on the right, pink. Okay, I'm gonna continue bringing in Stugs. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna have my big artillery online shortly. I'm going to move my commandant forwards now. Got a fighter for you on the right. Uh, you might want to fall back that line because uh, there's a lot of T-3485s. Um, if you if you fall back Copenhagen, we can trap them into the back 40s. And I'll bring in a couple more pack 40s as well on top of that. Yeah, we're going to want to like sponge this attack because it's the Maverick coming in hard. Keep falling back. 
Just go all the way back to the light forest. Alright, my artillery is in position. I'm just going to have the 150 mils just target the road. Sorry. Nice, one's bailed out. Gonna get my Panzer three into cover. Yeah, nice Copenhagen, get that pack, 40 unloaded on the left. Just unload it in that tree line where it's coming across. That'll be fine. My artillery's landed right on top of those, like, bailed out and tracks broken. Force the center a little bit just in case. Alright, gonna bring up even more pack 40s here. We just need as many as we can get. <laughs> We've done really well though, I'm um, stopping this push. And I'm gonna put my ears out some return fire there because the only thing that's actually capturing that right now. Pretty close. Alright. Gonna stack some more artillery. Gonna move forward a bit to try and fix Uh sure, sure, sure. Just a little bit while they're falling. Nice gun jam there. I'll set my Panzer three to follow your Stugs on the left if you keep your Command Stug on the right. Uh, what might be nice, I'm going to try and get a, a motorcycle up with a radio so that I can start corrected shot on those. Uh, they are making a little bit of a push in the mid, but my IG is smashing them. Right, I would say um, pink, just kind of, kind of try and space out those um, Panzergrens a bit more, just make a little bit more ground. Um, but otherwise, just hold the flags that you're on. Uh, we have lost control of the flag right mid. Um, I'm going to bring in a few units to just push that back. I'll sort that out. Um, and if you support me, Copenhagen, with your units. Yeah. Well, there is going to be a little bit of a push coming in here. I'm going to get some more AT guns ready to go. these K-35s were. <laughs> I'm going to start arting those 45 mils. Uh, there are some just threes you're going to have to be careful of. Yeah, I'm going to fall back a bit again. Okay, sure. Some of them are doing it on their own. 
We're not doing too bad. Right, if we can get past phase B into phase C, then we've we've done well. We can start bringing in some bigger guns then as well. Yeah, I'm pretty much out of shit. You're all out. Okay. Yeah, I've got one commander. Uh, how many you got, Lycus? How many Stugs have you got? Seven and three hundred. Okay. Um, can you start bringing them in behind uh, Copenhagen's push on the right hand side of your troops? Yeah, the uh, T-38 was it to roll on the right. I'd also um, probably pull back any vehicles you have near the town and shift them all to the right hand side. Um, so just set up defensively with infantry in the town. Any spare units, just move right. Because we'll, we just need to contest this flag in the open. Yeah, I've pulled a, the second line and the third line of Stugs. One in the light cover, one just in front of it. They are making a push for our stuff in the mid. Not sure how much. How many fighters do you guys have? I've got one available at the moment. Okay. I'm going to bring in a couple of ME410s in the center to try and pop some of these T34s. So if you could cover me, that'd be great. Get on those fighters. If you can get them away, because there is AA there in the center, so. Alright, yeah, just fall back with your fighters, guys. Nice, good job. Unfortunately, my IG is dead in the mid. <laughs> Bit unfortunate. took back the point on the right mid, we're going to have to take back the one in the actual mid, actual center. Big old tank battle. Um, 
could use some help in the mid just to take back this point against these Sapelli. Yeah, bring RT motor that. Yeah, I'm just gonna be attacking those buildings they're moving towards. That modifier is helpful, nice. Bring in some yeah, we're pretty tight at the moment. Now all I want you to do, uh, I think, is just try and take back that point on the right side. <laughs> he had a bit of a conga line. <laughs> Didn't need support. Do you need support on the right hand side at all? Or are you you're okay? We'll see. Okay. Um, Copenhagen, your Panzer Guns in the mid, try and just run them towards these Cavardia and Sapelli, because probably get them surrendered maybe. Marty's coming in right on top of them. We've certainly cut down on a lot of these uh, P-34-85s on the left, at least. I do have a pack 43 moving up to try and engage the SU-152, but not really the best thing for that. I'm going to be arting it as well. I love how my air's that strip is still holding that. Uh, we have an infantry push coming in on the right hand side of mid. I'm going to bring in some Panzergrams just to hold off against that. There's no flag there, so it's not a massive deal, but a little annoying. They're going to be pushing like super hard because. Yeah, there's only got six minutes. Yeah, six minutes remaining. Best thing to do here is just kind of keep arting, get your mortars online, just keep pushing them back any which way you can. Yeah, I'm going to move my Strig line forward from. Right, I'm bringing in my ME410s. I'm going to hit the units that are here, like the SU152s and the T3485s that are pushing forwards. Fighter cover. Uh, they're going to get an infantry squad into... I'm going to have to bomb that. I'm going to bomb this, so just keep the fighter cover up for now. 
I'll be right I can't, I can't let them kill the Urzats. No, the brave is. It'll go to even if that happened and then we won't win. <laughs> so it's pretty... Gonna try for a surrender as they're in the forest. Oh nice, yeah, good, good job. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I'm going to bring in a couple more just to make sure that that infantry squad's dead on that right side of the uh, the flag there on the help beacon. Okay, um, so for the most part, we're doing really well. Nice job, guys. Just need to get some more infantry into the center just to capture back that flag. I'll make sure I do that. Uh, I'm going to start putting RT fire onto these T-3485s fire in the mid, so they don't push any further. I've got MG-32s, let's see. Pack 43 in the mid was stuck for so long. <laughs> it was like stuck in the swamp. Alright, so just gotta hold on for two more minutes guys. Can't can't relinquish any flags from here on out. <laughs> I've got one AAP left, I'll bring it in up. Um, we haven't actually had many aircraft to deal with. I'll bring in an SDKFZ-71 on the right-hand side. I've got about five fighters. I'm going to save her for my ME-14. Okay. Other than that, I'm just going to... A shitload of Panzergren and Euros. SMGs. Oh, my RT is smashing those guys in the middle. I'm going to bring in the ME-410s again, so if you've got the fighters. I'm just going to hit the, the right T-3485s in the mid. I'm moving up back up to help us. Ooh, there's a lot of AA in the center now. Okay. Yeah, I would just stay away from the center. Yeah, I'll return. Hey, great job. Great job on the right hand side. I think taking that flag, very nice. 54 seconds left. I've got artillery coming in onto this mid engagement again. These artillery pieces are doing very well for us. I'm just gonna spam. Might not be necessary, but it's me. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring in my ME-410 bomber wing and just go in for the center. I like our stupid line, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, good job, guys on the left. It's been fantastic. Great. Uh, nice one, guys. Nice one. That was extremely tight. Well, yes, yeah, a fantastic job. Um, yeah, I think that worked out well, especially like falling back into the AT guns. We killed a lot of T 34s that way. Like the pack 40s were chewing them up. 
Um, I was surprised how well the Stugs were doing as well uh, with the frontal engagement, but yeah. Yeah. I think it's just a mass of them. Yeah, it works. And also just being close enough, right? Yeah, and the recon vehicles just help. Yeah, good game, guys.